So you should have finished sorting the cards to balance and unbalance forces. Now we're going to calculate the net force and determine if the object is balanced or unbalanced. So same thing like we were doing yesterday, but now you're going to tell me the net force, the direction it moved, and is it balanced or unbalanced. So example here, we have 10 newtons to the right, 10 newtons to the right. You do need to show your work. If you're not showing your work, I am going to count it wrong. So 10 newtons, 10 newtons. So 10 plus 10 is 20 newtons. Okay, so here you're just going to put 20 newtons. Oops. 20 newtons. Direction it moved. Well, again, both of these are moving to the right. So is it balanced or unbalanced? Well, because it's greater than zero, this is unbalanced. Again, if you're not sure, go back and use your notes. Okay, so greater than zero is an unbalanced force. So let's do the next one together. We have five newtons to the right, 10 newtons to the right, eight newtons to the left. So five newtons, sorry, five newtons plus 10 newtons is 15 newtons right. And then we have eight, I'm sorry, then we have 15 newtons minus eight newtons. So when we subtract both of those, we should get seven newtons. Okay. So that's gonna be those, my net force, seven newtons. And the bigger number is to the right. Because there's movement, it's unbalanced. Okay. Oops. That's what you're going to do. Again, make sure you're showing your work. So you're going to do the rest of these. And then the last thing you're going to do on the last slide, you're going to um, summarize in your own words what balance means, or I'm sorry, what unbalance means and what balance forces mean. Okay, so you're summarizing in your own words. Use your notes, rewatch the videos if you have to. Thanks, guys.